I'm Sifri de Witte. In recent years, insights from the behavioral sciences have started to gain influence in policy making through the field of behavioral economics. At the very same time that behavioral economics is gaining traction, behavioral science goes through a so-called replication crisis. Finding after finding turns out to be hard to replicate. Our research group has devoted a lot of time and effort to explore the robustness of findings and in helping shape the new empirical customs in behavioral sciences. One such finding pertains to the ego depletion effect, reflecting mental fatigue, which for instance emerges after choosing in a shopping context. The classic finding was that when people engage in self-control, like when choosing products, they subsequently become more impulsive. In two high-powered multi-lab projects, we set out to test this with the standardized experimental protocol. In the first project, we found no evidence for the ego depletion effect. In the second project, with a slightly varying procedure, we found the tiny effect without practical relevance. In another project, in collaboration with Stanford, we put the controversial finding to the test that high income leads to less altruism. In two meticulously executed, high-powered and pre-accepted replication lab studies in different continents, we found no association between income and altruism. We attribute the replication crisis to an unstandardized methodological toolbox in the behavioral sciences. Pro-environmental behavior, for instance, is now measured in a myriad of ways, and we developed a new robust lab methodology to measure pro-environmental behavior.